Hi guys, welcome back to Flora Fun and Food. My name is Lauren and today I'm gonna to show you what I made for dinner, which is mushroom tortellini and a white wine cream sauce. Let's go. All right, the first step is to get some water on to boil for our pasta and I like to add a little bit of chicken bouillon powder into a large pan. I'm gonna add a heaping tablespoon of butter. While that's warming, I'm gonna get my onion diced up. And being lazy, I'm gonna use my onion dicer here. It doesn't work super well, but it cuts down a little bit on the time. I'm also gonna chop the mushrooms using my meat chopper. I just find it a lot easier. You can't tell I am all about hacks to save me time, lazy kitchen hacks, whatever you want to call it. I'm all about it. To my onions and mushroom, I'm going to add a bit of salt, probably about a tablespoon, and that's going to help draw the moisture and get them cooking a little bit faster. Once our veggies have softened, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of heaping tablespoons of garlic. Wait to add your garlic because it burns a lot faster than onions and mushrooms. All right, now that my water is boiling, I'm just gonna throw in this mushroom tortellini that I got from Aldi. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add a nice big glug of white wine to deglaze our pan. We'll let that cook out for a minute or two. Add a little more wine just to kind of give it a good zing. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with about half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Give my tortellini a little stir here. All right, I'm gonna turn my front burner down to low so nothing burns. And then I'm gonna go in with, oh, probably about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. That's gonna add some thickness and some flavor to our sauce. If it gets too thick, you can add some pasta water, which I will just to kind of emulsify everything, but you can also add more liquid in the form of milk or cream or whatever you want. There's plenty of heavy cream here. I don't want it to be much heavier and fatty. So if I need more liquid, I'll just add some pasta water. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of cayenne powder and just stir that in and give us a nice little kick of heat there. All right, the pasta has been going for about eight minutes, which is what it recommended on the packaging. So I'm just gonna drain it and pour it into our sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour about a half a cup of our pasta sauce into our mixture here, just to kind of combine it all a little bit better pretty thick. I'm going to let that water kind of cook out for a couple minutes. All right, I just ran out to the garden and got some fresh parsley to just kind of garnish our pasta with. Alrighty, our pasta is ready to dish up. And then we can top it with a little bit more Parmesan and a sprinkling of fresh parsley on top. And that is dinner served. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and head over to my channel to subscribe for more content like this. And I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks guys, bye.